What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Shizzle Network here back again with more King of Fighters 15. Uh, for today, we're going to be doing the story playthrough of Teen Garu. Now, keep in mind, this is literally my first time playing the... Uh, well, not the first time I'm playing story mode in this game, but rather just with Garu. So, I don't know what to expect from their ending. So, what you're seeing is going to be a genuine surprise. I'm so happy that Team Garu's in the game. I've been waiting for them since the day the game first came out. So now, Select here we go. <laughs> now, uh, I don't know how I'm going to do, uh, you know, as far as gameplay is concerned, but bear with me here. Uh, you know, keep in mind this playthrough is literally just for fun. It's not to uh, show skill. Or anything like that, so you know. Oh, wait a minute, we're starting off with Ash Crimson. Ash Crimson. This, this guy. The lips is what kills it for me with Ash Crimson. I know that that's part of his character still. Ow. That move has way too much priority. Nah. He really loves using that. Is that is that really it? Your mother, if you even have one. Actually, he does, doesn't he? I, I'm, I, I'm just, rem just bear with me for a moment, guys. My uh, brain's not working today, <laughs> honestly. Lizzie, we got Lizzie. I remember the last time when I was playing with Li Elizabeth, when I was playing through the story. She actually helped defeat a Tomaraga, and I was actually so happy about it because I got a really good combo with her. Elizabeth is a really fun character to combo with, if I'm being honest. Gotcha! God, I love her! Oh my god, that's so cute! B. Janet has always been such a... She, she's always been so adorable since Mark of the Wolves and this, like... She was, like, B. Janet was literally my favorite female character from Mark of the Wolves. Maybe besides Hotaru. I, I liked Hotaru, but... B. Janet was just my favorite. Like, she was definitely my favorite waifu out of Mark of the Wolves. She was definitely my favorite. B. Janet, like, almost reminds me of a character out of One Piece. Almost. <laughs> she did the Naruto run. That's so cool. Ow. Nah. Get whipped by my dress. But yeah, it's like she almost reminds me of like a One Piece character, given the fact that she's a pirate. I don't know why. But she's she's hot. She's adorable. It's like I just love her personality. Uh, I, I just love her personality. She's easily one of the best looking characters in this game, and it's like oh dear, here we go, Team Ikari Warriors. Your next challenger is Team Ikari. This is going to be... We're starting off with Ralph, which is good, but here's the problem. I have to deal with Clark after him. At least if I dealt with Clark first, it would still be annoying, but at least, like... It would be out of the way once I'm through with him. He survived countless wars with a tank-busting punch. A true one-man army. Ralph is so cool. I see why everyone loves this character. I was doing combos with him, and he is so fun to use. Oh, 
Au revoir, mon bouf. Oi. Slap you right in your crotch. Look at it this way. Getting smacked in your crotch by Big Janet is honestly an honor. It's not often you would have that lady touch your crotch. S sorry, that was inappropriate. I know. I apologize for that very in inappropriate joke. Ah! Shadow Strike. Okay, what's the one thing? Oh, and by the way, Clark, um, Clark actually has a mod where he can act, you, where you can actually have him dress up as John Cena. Yeah, someone made a mod where you can actually turn Clark into John Cena, and I actually have the mod, but I just don't have it installed right now. I don't have any mods installed on this game right now. Oh my God! What? Nah. You don't get a chance. You don't get a chance to grab. Oh, here we go, Leona. I like Leon. There's also a mod where you can actually give Leona a black tank top. And she honestly looks a lot better compared to the yellow. Oh my god! Her aerial super is pretty scary. Because it, it it does cover a decent amount of range. Alright, ready to see my Gato? Oh my god, here she goes with the balls. Ow. Nope. You don't get that chance, Leona. You don't get that chance. Gato looks so badass here, man. I swear to God. A doll who can only move where her strings take her is no opponent of mine. Damn. Damn. My man. My man roasted him. Don't worry. I mean, most of her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I'm gen. I'm very gender confused right now. I'm pretty sure someone's gonna say in the comments. Oh my gosh. When did, when did Leona all of a sudden become a man now? I'm very gender confused right now. It's not the first time my brain went absolutely haywire, and it's most certainly not gonna be the last time it'll happen. Oh, here we go. Here's the pop star. Also known as the easiest female Shoto to use in a fighting Round game. Ready? Fun character, but also annoying to fight. It's okay, I got a projectile myself. But you see, they gave Athena two different projectiles. She has that one, and then she has another projectile, which is a half circle forward punch that actually launches an opponent. Like, literally, it launches you. It's ridiculous. Oh, there goes that dreaded DP. Nope. Oh my lord. No! That's the one thing I hate about that super. It goes so fast. Like, it just travels really fast across the screen. That's what I hate about that super. It goes so fast that it's almost impossible to dodge. It's like, your reflexes have to be on point if you want to dodge that super. If you don't see that super coming, it will fuck you up. I shit you not. Oh, we got Yuri. Ready? Go. 
What I like about his EX, uh, I think it's like quarter circle four, right? What I love about that, that ES quarter circle four punch of Gato's, is that if you do the EX version, but you don't finish the string off with the with the um, forward punch to finish the string, like if you just do this, like the ES version of it, it launches your opponent so you can extend the combo. So it literally gives Gato a lot of combo opportunities from it, from that. That's what makes him so fun to play in this game. Just as good as he was in Mark of the Wolves. Oh my god. Nope. Nope. Oh my god, that hit me? Uh-oh, be careful. She left herself wide open when she did that. As someone who plays my, it's like... No. That move leaves her wide open. Amateurs pretending to be martial artists have no place here. Yeah, it's like as someone who actually like plays that character, it's like I already know what to expect. You know what I mean? I I, I literally already know what to expect. Especially as someone who's played that character for years. Not Gato, I'm talking about Mai. I never to be honest though, I never really started playing with the. Uh, I never really started playing with Gato until, believe it or not, very recently. Uh, and honestly, it, it was like, he was a bit complicated at first, but after a while, I kind of got used to him. The only the only thing that's hard about him is the fact that, he's, that he is, that he has strings. He has chains, rather. But once you get used to his chains, he's, he's alright. He's alright. He's a hard-hitting character. I'm pretty sure most people have probably seen this cutscene, so I'm just going to assume that that's the case and jump right back into the gameplay. Just figured I slowed down the momentum a little bit. Now let's get it right back on track. We're gonna go with Team K-Dash, and he goes right at the... Have him go last. Don't worry, we'll get to see Rock. I'm pretty sure most people at the at this point in the playthrough are like, we haven't seen Rock. Well, to be honest with you, my Rock is pretty deadly, so... I don't know if I want to make the CPU suffer just yet. Besides, I gotta fight Whip anyway, the dominatrix of the game. The dominatrix of Metal Slug. Round one! Ready? Go! Ah, Jesus. Oh, damn it. Nope. Ah! You're cray cray. Oh my, that tagged me? What? That actually. There you go, got her. If I tagged her feet, I knew I would have got her. Maxima. 
Ready? Go! Bring it on. <sighs> Forgot you cannot block that. Okay. Don't even think about it. Nope. Don't even think about it. Oh, uh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Once my Gato enters the ring, it's over for you. But if you come across my rock, you choose death. I gotta remember to jump. I gotta remember that attack cannot be blocked. Which is funny how I don't see that coming because it's one of the slowest like command grabs in the game and it's like the fact that I failed to anticipate it is something I'm not proud of. Oh my god. Oh dear, I'm playing like booty shoes right now. Ooh! The cross up! Yo, his jumping diagonal B is like, I wow, that's actually the first time I had ever crossed up with that move. I think in the next match we'll make sure that Rock gets a go. We'll definitely make sure that Rock gets a go. Yeah, Rock, Rock, we gotta see Rock Howard. We definitely gotta see him. To be honest with you, the only reason I thought I was gonna see Rock was because I thought I was gonna play like ass. But to be honest with you, I'm actually kind of surprised at how well I'm doing. So, let's see, we'll... Uh, uh, okay, B Janet will go first. We'll put Rock in the middle and we'll leave Gato last. Because right now, Gato is my strongest character so far. Well, I mean, as far as the playthrough is concerned, like overall, I would definitely get more used to Rock, if anything. So. I still can't believe that Rock's 360 is now the overdrive command in this game. The o the Guilty Gear Overdrive command. Oh look at Shizuru! Shizuru! I had so much fun playing her in the, in the open beta, honestly. Oh! Shadow Clone Jutsu! <laughs> it's One Piece versus Naruto. Pirate chick. Shadow Clone chick. Which is funny because Naruto was the only character who did shadow things. Well, I mean, not he wasn't the only character, but I mean, like, he obviously just did it the best. Ow. Oh! Oh! Oh my god. Don't even think about it. Uh. Okay, I gotta be careful, because if I try to go aerial, she's just gonna DP me, so. I'm dead. Ah! Uh, wait, what's going on? What the hell? What? Wait, what happened? She's a ruler who just mixed me. She literally just threw me off. I love how she stares at her like she's proud of what she just did. I'm like... That mess with my head. Anyway, it's time to see Rocky. Oh my god. Go ahead, jump. Jump again, I dare you. <laughs> yeah, ju just like Terry Bogard, Rock Howard's uh, rising tackle is also DP in this game. Which, believe it or not, is the first time that Rock Howard's Rising Tackle was ever a DP. But I'm sure you know why they did that, right? <gasps> oh, 
Sit the fuck down. Uh, uh, uh. Ow. Crad. Oh, I thought I parried him. No, not this time. No, 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 no. I'm amazed that Rising Tackle even hit to begin with. I, To be honest with you, I was anticipating him to jump. He probably was, which is why the, the Rising Tackle hit him. Yo, Rock Howard versus Kyo Kusanagi. Bro. In, in, okay, to be fair, it happened before, CBS 2, uh, King of Fighters 11, but come on, to see it in a, oh yeah, in King of Fighters 14, but to see it in this art style, You're just gonna stand there? Alright. I'll just tag you low. I'll just tag you low. How low can you go? The Kusanagi style makes a formidable as formidable a foe as ever. Still your flame's not enough to light the fire in my heart. I fucking love Rock I, I love Rock Howard so much. Can we all agree that he is easily one of the best characters SNK has ever made? Like, can we all agree with that? He's so f he, he's just amazing. Select order. He actually is a heavy inspiration for my OC. He's actually a big inspiration. Not necessarily in terms of like personality, but just like uh by you know, character design, you know. Her dreams are painted all over the streets. Every battle to her is a canvas for her art. Isla and Amanda. Sorry about that. I was just taking care of something very important. I know it's kind of rude to be on your phone during a during a video, but things came up. Oh shit. Yo, Isla, yo, Isla is going fucking nuts. Oh my god, I'm fucking up so bad. Maybe it's just the fact that I'm just thinking of how to deal with her because Isla's going crazy. Like, she's at a combat. Right now, she is combat high right now. You can tell by how aggressive she is right now. I do not understand why her reversal DP, why Isla's DP actually like snuff my shit. But it is what it is. I mean, I don't remember, I don't remember her DP having that much priority to be honest. Maybe it does. Nope. Taste my elbow. The people's elbow. After all, that's why he's called Rock, right? Rock Howard, taste the people's elbow. <laughs> ah. Ah! Hey, here comes the most electrifying move in sports entertainment or in fighting games. Uh, people's elbow. <laughs> here, oh God, I love doing that. Ow. Hey, guess what? 
Oh, I missed. Okay, I better not fuck around. Because the Lores was about to send me six feet under the ground, which she technically already did with her Earth powers, but... I just had to make sure it didn't happen. Overhead. Oh, that's... That's pain, man. Oh, no. Oh, here comes the pain. Ah! Friggin' hide him. Alright, you know who's next. <laughs> oh, it's time to say hi to Gato. <laughs> Ow, that was rude. I was waiting for you to jump. Do not jump on me. Do you understand? You lucky I could not get my DP out in time. Sit your ass down. God damn, hide him with the command grab. Nope. All eyes are on the winner of that fierce fight. Gato is just I it's like under the KO I mean like it's not the first time that either of these Garu characters have ever been in the King of Fighters game. I mean everybody knows that Rock was in, you know, eleven and obviously fourteen, like you know what I mean? I don't remember. Yeah, I think those are like, yeah, it literally. Because everyone knows he was also in 14, but B. Janet and Gato haven't been seen in a KOF game since 11. So. The fact that they play so well under this system, at least, is amazing. All right. Here's the part where I'm going to have to save the best for last. That being, of course, Rock. I wanted to at least get some gameplay in of Rock because of. Pretty sure people wanted to see me play with Rock. It's like verse. All right, here we go. We got a battle reverse. Reverse isn't a problem. I mean, she's annoying, but it's like I I can I I can tolerate her. It's a it's a Tomaraga that I have the issue with. I I hate fighting a Tomaraga. I mean, luckily, I fought her enough times to know how to deal with her, but she is still annoying. No, but what irritates me about Reverse is her stupid behind command grab. The one where she'll, the one where she'll literally like, literally grab you from your low and then go all the way up to your shoulders and then start absorbing your health. Like, I hate that attack. That, 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 that right there, that move, which is literally Hyder's attack. I did the wrong. Ugh, I keep forgetting. She only has one command normal. That being her down forward D. Down forward D is the only command normal that B. Janet has. You've been seeing me doing it a lot. I hate this. I, I literally hate this grab so much. Get out of here. We don't want your crap. 
You're just a beast. There's no way I'll be beaten by an opponent devoid of reason. Alright, you know what this means, right? It's finally time to fight a Tomaraga. The true boss, the true final boss of the game. I hate fighting this character. Try, uh, you know, and it's funny because, like, I tried fighting her on the hardest difficulty, and that was a nightmare. She was, she, on the hardest difficulty, Atoma Raga is up there with Ignis, definitely nowhere near as cheap as Rugal. She's still cheap, don't get me wrong, but she's nowhere near as cheap as, as, as Rugal. But she's so damn close. But she's up there with Ignis, Zero, and uh, Chrysalid. It's like, oh my god. I'm pretty sure there's videos on YouTube of people actually defeating this boss without even, like, without even losing. And doing it on the hardest difficulty, or even like so much as even taking damage from the character. And it's like, if there are videos of that that do exist on YouTube, let me give you a round of applause for being a god tier player compared to my worthless ass. Ow. The one thing I, I notice about her pattern is that. The only moves that are lows are the ice crystals that she spawns in above, but most of the time she usually does like high attacks. She mostly does high attacks, mo uh, not all the time, but oh my god, I shouldn't have jumped. <laughs> Oh my god, that's the wrong... Chip damage. B. Janet actually did a good amount of damage on her. So, I gotta give B. Janet her credit. Now let Gato handle this. Ow. Yep, I knew she was going to do that. I forgot to finish the string. My bad. The only reason I didn't finish it is because I thought she was going to block it. And I was amazed that she didn't. Alright, in this stage, her attacks do much more damage, so you want to be very careful. Let's go, Gato! I have no desire to go along with your farce. Time for your curtain call, you ludicrous puppet. Oh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are probably disappointed at the fact that Rock didn't get the spotlight. But... Mm. To be honest, I just was not expecting to do very good in this playthrough. I was certain that we was going to see Rock a lot, but clearly... I think it's fair to say that at this magnitude, Gato right now for Team Garu is my strongest character. Like, because I've noticed that every win that we've had throughout this whole playthrough has been from him. So, I think it's safe to say that as strong as my rock is, as of right now, my Gato is stronger. Which is funny because I've only very recently started playing this character in Mark of the Wolves. So, the fact that I'm already at this level of gameplay, which is not still not saying much because it's not like it's got to or anything, but still though, the fact that I'm at this level with the character, and he just dropped on the game today, and I, he literally just dropped today as of this recording, and I'm already figuring this shit out, right? It's pretty cool.
All right, so let's see. Team Garu's ending. Young Wolves at play at Pow Pow Cafe. Oh, nice. Pow Pow Cafe is still around. Oh, my God. I love the artwork. The tournament end is still. What happened to that monster from before? See, I told you it was worth joining this thing. Yeah, it was B. Janice's idea to bring the team together. Last time was a huge letdown, but I figured something cool would happen this time around. Yep, she was talking about 11. Guess you were on the mark. We did something about that monster's power before someone could use it for evil. There's one silver lining at least. What foolishness. I have no desire to waste any more of my time ab abiding your pointless prattle. I demand you hand over what you owe. You're the boss, boss. Here, the intel on your dad. Our collusion is at an end. Welp, it's been nice knowing you. Smell you later. Gato's all about business, obviously. Um, well, I'm sure you have things to do. I'll just get going. Oh ho, what are you saying, you handsome devil? I haven't gotten a thing in return for my troubles. You think I'll let you go so soon? For your troubles? You mean like a reward? I know you plan to meet Terry and the others here for a party. Oh, she probably wants to meet Terry. I've done my research. Don't underestimate the Lillian Knights Intelligence Network. Sorry to keep you waiting, Rock. Yep, he's officially in the universe of KOF. Terry, I'm sorry, but she insisted. If it isn't Terry Bogard, you don't mind if we join you, do you? Sure, sounds like a party. The more, the merrier. Of course, Terry. No one, Terry, of course he would have accepted it. Great, thanks a bunch, you two. Now then, listen up, Lillian Knights. Today we're partying on this Dreamboat's tab. All right, let's bring the house down, brother. So this is what you meant. Father, on my honor, I swear I'll... Brother... Oh my god! Hotaru! Where have you been this whole time? Hey, answer me! Be gone, child. I am not your brother. Oh my god, Hotaru's in the game! <laughs> Go leave this place. This is not a world for you. Brother... How about that? Guru Mark of the Wolves f officially exists in the universe of KOF. So what did you think of the tourney, Rock? Working in a team's not that bad, is it? Yeah, I didn't think a team would suit me, but it was better than I expected. Next time, I hope we get a chance to team up, Terry. Bro, holy shit, Hotaru was actually in the... Bro, Hotaru was actually there? <laughs> you have no idea how happy I am to see Mark of the Wolves finally make its presence known in KOF 15. This literally tells us that... I mean, to be fair... Were they... I mean, they were always canon since King of Fighters 11, to be fair, but it's like, now, given the current state of things, I think it's safe to say that the Guru Mark of the Wolves characters are now officially starting to play a more important role in the lore of KOF. Like, we're literally starting to see the entire universe of KOF starting to shift towards Mark of the Wolves, which, of course, was the next generation of Fatal Fury, right? So, it's only a matter of time before we start seeing other characters like Kushnud, King of Dinosaurs ends up becoming Tzok. Uh, you know, we might even see other characters like Freeman, and, you know, Hotaru who's probably going to return. So, I, I got a good feeling. I got a good feeling about this. You know what I mean? I have a... I feel very positive about the future of KOF and what they're going to do with characters from Guru Mark of the Wolves. Because as most of you know, I've been very vocal about how much I love Mark of the Wolves. It's easily one of my all-time favorite fighting games. So to see it get represented in a KOF game that I've been waiting for so long 
is just amazing to me. I think there's a bonus ending. So let's uh, let's take a look at that. Yes. You know what I want to know? How how is Rock gonna interact with Geese? Because remember, Geese Howard is still alive in the KOF timeline. He died in the original Fatal Fury, but remember, KOF is a completely different timeline, so you gotta keep that in mind. So how is the interaction between Terry, Geese, and Rock gonna work out? I think we have to wait until Team Southtown comes out in May. Who knows? Um, but anyway, that about does it for this playthrough of um, KOF 15 with Team Garu with commentary. Um, I hope it was at least watchable. I don't, I, I don't expect it to be like, oh, the best playthrough on YouTube, but I at least hope it was watchable and you enjoyed it for what it is. And if you did, that's great. Um, but I'll see you guys next time. Um, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and uh, turn on the notification bell. And also leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And if you also want to see me play more KOF 15, you can follow me on my Twitch, which is where I live stream not only KOF 15, but I also do retro streams there too. So, like I said, if you enjoy all that kind of content, you guys can follow me on my Twitch at Shizzo Network Gaming. Link will be in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. This is your friendly neighborhood reptile, otherwise known as Shizzo Network Gaming, signing off.